hi <laughs> we're live how's it going everybody we are here today to talk to you a little bit about traveling um, and in particular business travel yeah and that you can indeed stay on track <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's something we hear all the time because I think you've got some clients that are, are traveling a lot mm -hmm. and they're kind of Okay, sorry about that. We don't know uh, what happened. We were... Comcast is pretty awesome. That's all we can figure out. <laughs> um, so what we're saying? Oh, people who travel a lot for business. Yeah. Um, live out of their cars, and you know it's just easier to go into McDonald's or whatever the case. Yeah, is. living out of a hotel room. Whatever. Yeah, right. So um, I was very blessed to go to a training over the last couple of days, which was it was very very cool. Um, I'm blessed to work for a company who does leadership kind of things, um, and this was it was at Gettysburg. And we did a battlefield tour and learned about, you know, the the leaders there and what they did. And anyways, that's the side note, really yeah. awesome. Um, but but my whole point in this was I knew that our lunch the first day was going to be at a rest stop. So I mean sometimes so but I did look here's the deal, they always have hard boiled eggs. Yeah, I was gonna say, so I actually went in and water. I looked they had some beef jerky, like the Dukes. Yeah, now Dukes it's eight dollars awesome. for a bag Ugh. there. Um, they but had Dukes, Dukes is a great beef jerky. They had hard boiled eggs. Um, they had some like pre cut vegetables and stuff like that. So if I had to, if I was desperate, they had nuts. Um, there was things I could have eaten. Yeah. There. Um, I just chose not but to. But here's the question Do you ever go on a trip and don't know ahead of time that you're going on a trip? Typically not. Right? Stop <laughs> making excuses, people. Yeah. Just stop it. Right. So, I mean, there are things, you know, that happen to people's family last minute and you got to rush out the door, but for the most part, yeah. that's not what's happening. Yeah. Um, so I knew this trip was coming up. Um, and we had a busy weekend the, the weekend before. We had a lot going a busy, on. Busy, busy past two weeks. Yeah. Um, so I made a whole bunch of chicken thighs. I roasted broccoli. I bought these little mini um, holy guacamole. That's what uh, they're called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, these little mini. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> these little mini uh, guacamole packets. Um, I always take dark chocolate. I mean, everywhere that's, we go. I mean, that's food. That's that's, that's a uh, health. That's food. like having mints on you. You have dark chocolate on you. <laughs> yeah, that's um, a great. That's right? a great way to put it. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I, I kind of checked out the the rest stop. I could have found things I chose not to. Yeah. So everyone got their Popeye's chicken, which I'm not gonna lie. Popeye's chicken always looks good and it tastes good, I'm sure. Well, I don't know if it would taste good to us anymore, but we used to house some Popeye's we, back in the day. When we didn't have the, we couldn't afford it. My we would goodness. get like the 800 piece chicken. <laughs> From McDonald's, we couldn't afford Popeye's. That was too expensive. For so, us. anyways, so I, I actually, my plan initially was to fast because we had a lot to eat the day before and I was gonna fast, but I decided not to because I wanted to sit with my colleagues and eat, right? So I took, I had a cooler, I didn't take the whole cooler in, but I took with me this, you know, plastic Beautiful container. Look. Should we show the cooler that you take when yeah. you go places? So That's this actually, is actually given to you by your yeah, company, this which is, is my, cool. This is my Calgon cooler, right? So yeah. here's, it's full of, of a lot of things. Stuff. Um, but anyway, so what I took in with me was this, Actually, it's BPA-free yeah. container um, with a bag. Now, this bag is empty because I haven't cleaned this out yet. It was a bag. Yeah, she of, just got home like an hour ago. Uh, chicken thighs. It was Mike actually bagged for me and weighed out for me so I knew how much it was. And a bag of broccoli and one of my little guacamole things. This looks so tasty. Put it nice and really close. Good. Yeah, this is, these right are great. Here. Holy guacamole. These minis. Yeah. From... Costco. From Costco. And there's like... Hashtag Costco. I don't know. There's like 20 in a container, I think. So anyway, so I took and these things And the ingredients are clean the, on those. Yeah, right. The ingredients are clean. I even had my own silverware, which is kind of funny because I didn't need to take it into the rest stop. Yeah, but we never know where we're going to eat right, it. Right. We're don't never know. hungry when other people are hungry. So I took that. I had this, um, a napkin in my silverware, and some sea salt. Yeah. And I sat there with my colleagues and ate my lunch in here. And they ate theirs. Totally and it normal. it wasn't weird, though. You know why it's not weird? Because everybody's just eating. You're just so eating food. You're just sharing a meal. And I, I did, you know, so I, I was sitting next to my boss, who totally knows the way I eat. But you know what also helps? This is kind of like, I feel like, what people need. So there were several Europeans at that table. 
and we got into a discussion about how difficult it can be to eat clean in the United States. Yeah, because it's not a question for a lot of Europeans to just eat real food all right, the time. Right, right. And so they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So then it's really funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, not... I mean, they da. weren't all German. Da, da, da. And we're uh, back. It keeps pausing. I don't understand But anyways, happening. so because they were on board everyone else thought it was a little bit more normal. They, they yeah. kind of understood my side a little bit more, yeah. right? Real um, fast, do you think if we just sit still really, really for a long enough time, people will think we're paused? It's not, I can't do that. We're wasting you were time. moving, you were literally just moving. I know, I can't okay. sit still. Okay, anyways, so I had lunch, it was fine. Um, dinner, I thought was going to be easier just because it was pre-marked already that I was dairy-free and gluten-free, but you have to check. Here's the key takeaway, right? Like, don't rely Ask on somebody questions. else to submit this for you, right? Because I know that the person who took the orders, I know they submitted it. Yeah. But that doesn't mean it always gets translated, right? So before dinner, I pulled a waitress aside and said, I'm dairy-free and gluten-free. I got the chicken dish. I just want to make sure. Um, and her response initially was, well, I don't have that on my list. <laughs> that anyone was dairy free or gluten free and I was like well I need to eat a meal of food yeah. so I can't have those things like I will wait and you can make me something different um, but she came back out and said and this is a hotel with a full kitchen right, and a full staff right um, she was like panic mode like what am I gonna do yeah like you have <laughs> the can't, food the, the lady, you yeah. just make it differently Let but anyway so she um, she came back out and said the only issue would have been the sauce and the chicken and I said I will take plain chicken that's fine um, so she brought me out chicken and some potatoes, roasted red skin potatoes, which we don't usually eat that much. I just had a couple bites of those, and asparagus. And I pulled out of my purse <laughs> in front of all of my colleagues my purse butter, which you mean jealous colleagues. Yeah, you know what? And then it's it's always kind of funny because they're like, well, what's different about that butter? It's like just, they're like, it's awesome, I want nutritionally some butter. nutritionally valid um, as a food. So <laughs> so here's my container that's almost empty of purse butter. And then also my handy dandy purse sea salt container, right? TM. So, yeah. So I didn't have sauce on my chicken, so I threw a little butter on there. And That's some sea all salt. sauce. A sauce yeah. is just butter and then milk. And by the way, people will say, well, you're dairy free. Why are you eating butter? That's a good point. Yeah. Dairy. Uh, a lot of people that are dairy free can handle butter mm -hmm. because the, um, the dairy solids, the lactose, all that stuff is actually processed out just through the, the little processing that happens. And um, so yeah, so she, she can have butter, I can have butter, just because we're dairy free doesn't mean we avoid the butter. For some very few people that are dairy free, they have to switch it up to ghee, which is butter that has been uh, simmered down for a long time and you actually scrape the solids off the top. So, mm -hmm. and, and really it comes down to the easiest thing at a restaurant is to say dairy free, because usually my biggest issue is the heavy cream and the yeah. milk and what goes into the sauces or any, any cheese, if cheese even touches anything anymore. It gives me some issues. So so that was the easiest thing to say. But they did bring out a salad. There was no cheese on it. Nice. Um, no croutons either. So that was interesting because sometimes this happens where we're like, Every time we're dairy happens. free and gluten free. It just happened the other day with you. Yeah, dinner. and then they bring me out a salad with cheese and croutons. Oh, and it looks and like, amazing. I can't eat this, guys. But, but The croutons don't look amazing anymore, but well, the cheese still does. But they actually, like everybody else has had it and mine didn't. So that was great. Yeah, so they actually huge. paid attention. Um, and I didn't, I forgot, I, I brought dressing with me, but I forgot to bring it to me, with me to dinner. So I just didn't have dressing. It I, was fine. I <laughs> think things taste pretty, like vegetables just taste good nowadays. Yeah. Um, we will put a little bit of sea salt or something and they just taste amazing to me. Like yeah. lettuce is sweet now. So. And I still eat sweetener. Right. So that was dinner. Um, and then everyone, it did, they had this super awesome looking pie. Um, but I'm um, to the point where I know that's not food for me, so it's fine. But they yeah. brought me out a nice dish of fruit. And so that was my dessert. Yeah. And one of my colleagues, it was funny, he looked at me and he was like, I think I'd rather have the fruit. You know, because you're full and then you bring out this big, huge dessert and yeah. everybody eats it. Yeah, they but, stuff you full of bread. Then they stuff you full of probably yeah. pasta and breaded chicken and croutons on everything. Like bread on everything. Bread just fills you up. You get, it well, you takes had up different all options, the room. Yeah. But Depending on what you chose, that could have been the situation. But anyways, all right, so I want to move on. So the next morning, I go down for breakfast. Well, wait, how did you keep the stuff cold? Because you were there for three days. Right, I was going to talk about that in a second. Okay. Okay. So I go down for breakfast, and it is like, 
It's not. I don't even want to say continental. It was continental. And this is a nice hotel. It was nice, but they actually this was all adults, and they had like the little cereals, like honey bunches of oats cereal packets and stuff like that, and uh, bagels. And I mean, there was nothing I could eat. I, well, I take that back. There was fruit, but we typically try not to eat fruit in the morning. Um, and I just we don't eat fruit much at all. Yeah, but I when just we didn't do, really it's... want fruit. So yeah. what I did was um, I went back to my room and. I had, I did get coffee. I got actual coffee down there. But I put some Primal Kitchen collagen powder yeah. in. I put cordyceps in. I put butter. Cordyceps are a mushroom extract. And that's not it. It's this one. It's just almost empty. And I also take, we take these little containers. Um, this is actually brain octane oil. MCT oil. Yeah. MCT oil. So I put all that in my coffee and I just decided this is my breakfast, right? And this is what I typically do every day anyway. Yeah. So getting out yeah. of that mindset, like when we go on a trip. We travel, we have to have breakfast. We have to, have we breakfast. Have to do this we or that. We never eat breakfast any other time. Ever. So why is it like this big thing in our head? Never, I don't know. Ever. So it's like, okay, I don't, this is what I do anyways. So that was fine. Um, but to Mike's point of how did I keep this cold, right? So I showed you my cooler. But what's interesting is that there was no refrigerator in my room. So again, that's another complaint that we get from people when they mm -hmm. travel. Again, sorry about that. I don't know what keeps happening. It yet. keeps pausing, but that it's just too hard when you travel. Yeah. So I didn't have a refrigerator. I had a small cooler with me. I took extra Ziploc bags. So every morning before we left, I would go to the ice machine. I'd dump out what you'll see now is the cold water. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I would dump this out and refill it up every morning just to make sure that everything stayed cold. Now, that sounds like it took you like 45 minutes to do that. It doesn't take that long, <laughs> and that's what cracks me up. Um, now, I did have to walk a couple extra steps because my floor's ice maker was broken. <laughs> so you you had so to I had you had to, to move. Walk. <laughs> I had you had to, to get walk exercise up two flights of steps to get my ice every day, but I survived it, guys. You didn't take the elevator. I, I didn't take the elevator. What the heck's your problem? I didn't I didn't do it, I stayed oh. strong. But How it, long did it actually take you to get ice every day? Maybe five minutes. And I don't, I think that's probably too much. Maybe five minutes. Just guys, because the location, you had all, to walk and get the steps. You all know. I hear, I mean, and this isn't from my clients. My clients are, are generally like, you know, they listen to what I, what I have to say, they might make an excuse once or twice, I call them out on it, and then boom, they stop making excuses mm -hmm. because they start realizing the ridiculousness of their excuses before they say them. Because um, you're just so used to saying crazy things that are not true. Yeah. So. so it did not take me that long. I filled up, I had a bag of ice for the bottom and a bag of ice for the top. And then again this morning before we left, I did it again. Um, so it can be done. <laughs> um, and so lunch, so lunch, the last two days, everyone ordered a box lunch, which was a sandwich or a wrap or something of some sort. So again, they'd go pick up their lunch, <laughs> and I'd pull out and she'd... my my little container, and with chicken, it was fine. Yeah. The only thing I did apologize for was I was like, I have some broccoli, and this might stink, but it didn't actually. Um, but everyone awesome. was super fine, and I don't know that. You know, when you first start eating healthy, this does seem really awkward. Oh, it's so really embarrassing. Awkward, and it's so awkward. Uh, um, it really is. Yeah. I so mean, not I, for everybody, but for for uh, in the beginning. I you totally feel that way. get that, and I do, I do feel that piece of but, it, and I think maybe because we've been doing it for a while. But what I'm kind of liking about it is one, it makes you different. I um, I've, I just think that's really kind so of interesting. So especially on a business trip, if you set yourself apart in positive ways. Everyone remembers you. And Chris Pryor, what happens when everybody remembers you, buddy? You were just at the master class this weekend. It makes a difference. So, And and people actually, I had a lot of people that were like, well, I really admire that you you stick to your guns. You know, like you don't go off. Um, and I, I really need to do that. You hear that all the time, right? But again, so I get that it can be awkward, but I really enjoy it now. And I, I don't feel like crap. Yeah. I can keep mental clarity on a trip that I really want to be focused yeah. on. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, and, and I had great discussions with people about it. Yeah. I mean, talked about butter, talked about uh, bulletproof coffee, talked about yeah. containers that you put and, things and in. And here's the thing, some people are nervous to even talk to us about that stuff. So what'll happen is we'll be like off on the side somewhere when no one else is around and we'll have somebody chime in. 
and like just like corner us real quick to ask questions and that's even that's cool too cool. because like they're nervous about uh, about you can tell they're nervous to ask it but they're asking it so yeah. they're like they're actually doing it yeah so it's and just a yeah. great yeah so instead of cookies i ate my dark chocolate bars <laughs> and i so actually good. did i took two primal kitchen bars with me too so i had those like just yeah. in case like for snacks which i ate even though i didn't even need to eat them that's our problem if I we take a snack we them. eat it because yeah. we're food addicts <laughs> yeah and we have problems yeah but um so we're not perfect either right right yeah so don't take this as us you know on our high horse but here. us not being perfect isn't permission for you to not be perfect <laughs> be perfect at least try um so let's see coming home then we stopped again and i, I was this close and that's what I told you. I was this close to getting an RX bar. Yeah. And, and because I just wanted it. I mean, I wasn't hungry. Let's explain this. So most people, healthy, not healthy, whatever, they look at an RX bar and they're like, that, that's super healthy. It's made with all real ingredients. Look at the sugar content. It is over, if I'm not mistaken, it's over half of the amount of sugar you should be eating in one single day. So it's great that it's all made of just real dates and, and apples and pears, whatever. But the, a pear or an, a, a date is like, it's literally the sugar bomb of nature. Well, I think, I know the one I looked at was 25 carbs, but I think it was roughly that same amount of sugar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just because it's dried fruit. So dried fruit has yeah. like nothing left to it. That's, it's just sugar. Yeah. Um, so so the, you're packing in like 10 pieces of fruit that would take up a bowl into something this size. Just eat those 10 pieces of fruit. I guarantee you get through like three or four and you're so full that you can't walk so i was gonna buy one just because i don't know when we travel we tend to cheat more cheat quote For unquote. Us, sorry sorry we're back but i did not um because i had more purse chicken in TM. my cooler purse chicken tm and guacamole and cool. chocolate yeah so, so why, I why buy a high sugar to. crap at the uh right at, when at you could just uh, eat protein stop. and fat and feel yeah. full from it but what was really kind of fun was i was opening up my guacamole on the bus and someone's like what is that is it, is it is that guacamole i said yeah and they said i never thought of just eating guacamole plain i was like what and why they, would you not they think? said well I've, i i eat avocados plain all the time yeah like you don't need chips. You can flavor. You don't need chips for guac. You can flavor guacamole in so many ways. And it, I mean, that stuff is really tasty. Uh, it's so tasty, but you can you can like just change up the types of spices you get in there, and it's no longer like I mean, it's still guacamole, but it's like uh, you can make it a little sweeter with some different spicing, a little more spicy, a little more herby. You can change it up so many ways. Um, the other thing we like to do with guacamole is or avocados is just mash it into desserts. Yeah. So. Um, um, but let me talk about one more thing. Yeah, one more thing from your from your cooler. Uh, if you're just tuning in, Kim went on a work trip and took all of her food with her, even though there was not a fridge a in the room. <laughs> she just figured out how to keep stuff cold with I the ice machine. I took Ziploc bags and used the ice machine. Boom. Um, so the the last thing that I brought, and this is pretty much empty, um, another one of our BPA-free containers. Yeah, and we found this on uh, Amazon. Now they're stupid expensive. They're like three fifty or four bucks each depending on when you buy them, but they are spill proof like crazy. We take these, right. we've taken these all over the world with us. And that's even with coconut oil and things like that that are like just very greasy. Yeah, these go in our- They tend to leak out of things. They go in our liquids container and they travel all over with us. But what was in here was Primal Kitchen Balsamic Vinaigrette. And so anytime we go somewhere, I figure, like if you're on a trip somewhere especially, um, you're probably gonna get a salad. You're yep. gonna get a side salad at some point. So last night for dinner, I and why don't we eat salad at restaurants or dressings at restaurants? Because they are just chocked full of horrible oils. First of all, yeah, usually canola you, oil. Um, yeah, you can't. So sugars, sugars are bad for you, but you can burn sugars off if you really want to. You can't burn off canola oil. Mm -hmm. It goes straight into your body and turns into cell membranes, which stick with you for anywhere from a couple months to like two and a half years. It's part of your body now, and it doesn't work appropriately. So it's definitely an avoid at all cost thing for us. All cost. I mean, it's it's not like he said the sugar. Okay, um, for me, another piece of the dressings is that they usually have dairy in them. Yep. Um, anything creamy, anything white, anything like that that to me is like my favorite dressing <laughs> is gonna have dairy yeah. in it. Um, so I just I find it easier just to bring my own dressing. Yeah. But so what was funny was last night for dinner I had a salad and there was no dressing on it, um, no cheese, no croutons. So I pulled out my own purse dressing. 
TM. And then when my plain steak came out and vegetables, my 10 ounce New York strip steak Whoa. that was fantastic, I pulled out again my butter and my sea salt. Wait, so they didn't like ruin it three times and have to boil the last one for you like happened to me the other that's, day? That's a whole different, whole different discussion. So butter and sea salt on your steak? And on my veggies. So good. But it, it's, I see, I like it now. I think it's funny when I'm like, like pulling stuff out and just setting it on the table. I'm like, people, oh, this is my dressing. This is my butter. This is my sauce. Because we have we have found that when people make fun of us, they're actually jealous. And they will ask us ahead, they'll ask us later um, about why we do it. And they'll, they'll like, they're more inquisitive. So people are, they harass you when they're, when they feel defensive. But no one made fun of me. Yeah. No one made fun and, of me. It was fine. Yeah. So and that's I also cool. had dark chocolate in my purse too. Because I knew like when they were all ordering dessert, I was probably gonna feel like, oh, I probably wish I had dessert. But we ended up having to leave because we were late for something else. So we had to like run out so nobody got dessert. But it was it was cool. Like people asked questions and I stayed on track. Yeah. And it took Which kinda a, makes it easier to stay on track, huh? When people are asking questions. Kind of. Yeah, yeah, which is cool. So like, make yourself unique. Make yourself stand out. Um, that's not a bad thing in this world. We're right. all we're all a bunch of drones half the time, and like. And take take a little bit of energy to prepare some food. The tiniest um, bit. Even like I said, these these holy guacamole things are great. Yeah. Um, see the side. They're just it's just a little yeah, it's, container. It's, it it's could, not It could huge. be more actually, but uh, well, but you just take extra. It's two ounces, so it's not huge. But I took a bunch of these, so you can do some prepackaged things. Yeah. But take a little bit of effort. And honestly, I walked every day to get ice from the ice machine oh and kept my, my stuff cold. Goodness. It was not that big of a deal. Um, but I don't know. I just thought it was really cool. and I. Hey. But it worked out, and I was very grateful. Yeah. Well, so good. You can do it, people. You can do it. Yeah, excuses um, are for dummy heads. Don't make the excuse. Um, don't be excused, if you, people. If you have time, which, like we said, when do you... You don't typically go on a trip you don't know you're going on. Um, if you can prepare, just take a little bit of time. How to long? How long does it take us to? Does it take you to make a batch of? Um, how much actual work does it take you to make a batch of chicken thighs? Time wise. Yeah, yeah. Or, so the hardest part of that is just getting all the chicken thighs on the on the pan. Yeah. Not that it's hard. So I cut open a bag. I place them all on there. I like to pat them dry a little bit to get some of the excess moisture off. I put seasoning on, that's quicker than lining the pans, and then they go in the oven. Yeah. It's not hard. So, and then maybe like some foresight the night before to, to thaw them, meaning right. you pull so them out of the freezer and put them in the, uh, put them in the sink? Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, yeah. So the night before. So seven minutes to make chicken thighs, and another two okay. minutes for me to take them off the pan and shove them in bags for her to, to so she knows she has food for every meal? Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it just wasn't that hard. You can do it with any piece of meat. I mean. But I was, I'm like really like, not that I'm surprised. I don't want to say I'm surprised. I, I knew it was easy, but it was just like, come on guys. Cause we've you never gone, this. you've never yeah. gone that far to, we, we've never gone that far to take actual meals with us. Right. Because typically Cause we like, just will find something. Or because we were in an area where we were picking up box lunches that were already prepared. like. She typically, didn't have a chance to buy food. Yeah, typically we'd be at a restaurant and I would just make do with something. You know what I mean? I didn't have that opportunity, so I had to have stuff with me. Mm -hmm. um, so this was my first chance to kind of try it out, you know? So it was awesome. Boom. It was awesome. So that's all. You can do it. Don't use it as an excuse. Take your cooler and all your purse products and take some extra Ziploc bags and you're good to go. It's pretty simps, peeps. And if I had a refrigerator, this would have been even easier. <laughs> she wouldn't even have had to walk that three to five minutes it took to get her ice. I wouldn't have had to do that. Wouldn't even have had to. I could have been even lazier. She wouldn't have had to walk up those stairs at all. Stupid broken ice machine. I know. Making Maybe it was a exercise. sign. They were like, you need, you need to take a couple steps here. Speaking of walking, we were going to go for a walk, but we just spent a half hour doing this video. This is a long one. And she always yells at me like, we need to make this short and fast when it's my information. But well, I was trying to speed it up, in all fairness, a couple of times. I'd say, so anyways. So anyways, we have, what kind of, what do we have working on right now? We have, using our smoker. smoker, we have fish smoking, and then I'm going to throw it in the skillet uh, to just heat it up at the very end, just kind of sear it up. It'll be good. If anyone is still watching, which <laughs> I don't think they are, if you watch this, like yeah. in the future, make it to the end, bravo. You let us, let us know. Yeah. 
and you can come to our house and we'll make We'll make you avocado pudding. Or liver that actually tastes good. You don't I feel want like liver. we're trying to pull them in. I, I'm um, kind of wanting them not to come over. No, I really do like people to come over. But no, honestly, if you make it to the end, I want you to tell us and we'll make you some treat. Something tasty to us. It might not be tasty <laughs> to you. And if you make it to the end, could you click the like button? Oh, yeah. Where would that click, be, you think? It would be uh, below. The, I'm going to point this way. It's going to be there. Could you click that? Yeah. The just, like. just because. Because. Be nice. Because what will happen is one of you guys will tell us, hey man, I watched your video last yeah. week. I really liked it. Yeah, that was great information. And I'll say, hey man, did you click like? No, I, no, I didn't. So are, are you I... embarrassed to like put it out there that you liked our video? Yeah. Like, is it... You're scared to like me and Kim? I mean, I literally pulled out a whole lunch out of my purse in front of my yeah. colleagues. So don't yeah. be nervous just to hit the like button. You like in our video, we'll get, get our video uh, shared more. And what that means is that my business can grow. People will see more of us and see what we do, which is health coaching, and our business will grow. So. And we're gonna do shorter videos from now on. No, <laughs> no. We'll just have to say this in the beginning from now on. Yeah, smart idea. <laughs> but then we'll totally lose track of what we're gonna say. Yeah, yeah. So that's it. We're we're gonna skedaddle. Time to eat. Later, Gators. Okay. Bye, we guys. We haven't seen each other for three days. So. <laughs> Thanks for listening to our rant. Bye.